us derive a relation between pressure, density, and temperature. We have this relation from relation of entropy. S2 minus S1 is equal to Cp ln of T2 by T1 minus R ln of T2 by P1. S2 minus S1 equal to C1 ln of T2 by T1 plus R ln of T2 by V1. So for an isentropic process, change in entropy is equal to zero. Substitute this in this equation. Get zero is equal to Cp ln of T2 by T1 minus R ln T2 by P1. R ln of P2 by P1 equal to Cp ln of T2 by T1 ln P2 by P1 equal to Cp by R ln of T2 by T1. Take analog on both sides. P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1 to the power of Cp by R. You know Cp is equal to R gamma by gamma minus 1. Cp by R equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1. Substitute this in here. Therefore, we'll get the relation P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. We take the second equation and put the entropy constant term 0 is equal to Cv ln T2 by T1 plus R ln V2 by V1. R ln V2 by V1 equal to minus Cv ln T2 by T1. Ln V2 by V1 equal to minus Cv by R ln T2 by T1. So V1 by V2 is equal to density rho 2 by rho 1. And with this one. So antilocking of this function, this to this equation, V2 by V1 equal to 1. T2 by T1 to the power of minus Cv by R. Rho 2 by Rho 1 is equal to T2 by T1 to the power minus of minus Cv by R. Yet we know that Cv is equal to R by gamma minus 1. Rho 2 by Rho 1 is equal to T2 by T1 to the power 1 by gamma minus 1. C by R is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1. Now, now we have this relation we can compare these two then get the relation as P2 by P1 is equal to rho 2 by rho 1 to the power of gamma equal to T2 by T1 to the power of 1 by gamma minus 1 this is the relation between the pressure density and temperature 